guys. Today, I'm rocking the Nick Off Duty mug. It was sent in by none other than Gauze. They sent it in as a housewarming, or should I say, new headquarters warming <laughs> gift. It is pretty awesome. I now have the Nick Off Duty mug, Ooh. and that is to go with the new, I don't know if you noticed it, the Nick Off Duty fridge. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Nick underscore off underscore duty, you've already seen the transformation of my Nick Off Duty fridge. I'm pretty proud of it. Quick explanation, kind of touched on this on the update video that I posted or about a month ago. I'll put the link down in the description. If you guys haven't seen it, go see it. It'll catch you up on everything that's been going on. I'm in a new house. And in the new house, I created the non-squad headquarters. So pretty much you guys are gonna see a lot more of this set. If you're interested in a studio slash headquarters tour, let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely put that together for you guys. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I do have some fans hooked up. That's because it is extremely hot. I'm talking like 91 degrees, 92 degrees in this garage. I have not yet set up an AC somewhere. I will, I just was afraid of the noise, but if I'm running a fan, I got noise anyway, so uh, if you notice me sweating, that's what it is. 91 degrees, guys. Hardcore. Putting together a video for you, sweating it out. All right, so enough of the chit chat. Let's get to why you clicked on this video, and that is the police duty belt dangers. Today, we're going to be talking about the Black Hawk Serpa holster. Now, there are different variations of this holster that are out currently. Uh, right now, I do have two in my possession. One is going to be the level two and level three uh, Black Hawk Serpa holsters. Now, before we get into these holsters and how to use these holsters, I just want to put out a disclaimer that there is actual videos put out by Black Hawk themselves um, teaching you how to use this holster. You can find it on YouTube, you can Google it. So that information or the information that I'm about to give out is already on there. So uh, with that being said, if you get offended that I'm giving out uh, secret tips of duty belt holsters. If you decide to go into the comments and uh, put a comment like, Oh, hey Nick, why are you giving out our secrets? I will simply summon the Nod Squad into the comment section. Have them rain fury over your comment. Or just tell them to dislike One or the other, I'm going to have them do that. Because I'm just telling you, the stuff is already out there. All right, let's move on. Just a quick explanation, a quick rundown of how I use these things. This one I typically use on like administrative stuff. Like if I had to go take care of paperwork on my off day or something, I would just slide my gun in here and I would put it on uh, probably a rigger belt and then head on out. Um, this one here I actually wore on duty. Now I had my um, concerns about this holster, especially the mechanism here on top. And it turns out that um, even though that was a concern and there are some videos out there describing some events that gravel and stuff got stuck inside the mechanism which prevented it to open. That wasn't the most dangerous part about this holster. What's that you ask? Hey Nick, what is the most dangerous part of the holster? Well, sit back, relax, I'm about to tell you. So shortly after I posted the last video, I did some research and I uh, come to find out that this was not only a concern for me, but a concern of a lot of other people and one being the Department of Homeland Security. That's right, the Department of Homeland Security, or as I'm going to refer to them from now on, DHS. It's an acronym. Everything in police lingo is an acronym. So there were several incidents around the world where officers who were using the Black Hawk holster actually shot themselves in the leg. So the Department of Homeland Security decided, hey, we need to look into this, and they conducted a research or a case study. So I'm gonna put that link down below to the actual case study so you guys can read through it yourself and understand what went on. I'm just gonna break it down and simplify it for you guys. To understand what was going on, you first have to understand how you withdraw your gun from the holster. So in order to show you guys what was going on, I'm gonna use my Glock 27. This is the gun that I carry off duty. Let's make it safe, clear, and empty. 
As you guys can see, there is nothing inserted inside the magazine well, and there is nothing inside the chamber, as we call it in law enforcement and at the firearms range. This weapon is safe, clear, and empty. Now I'm gonna take it a, an extra step further just to make sure we're super duper safe, and I'm gonna actually remove the slide here. So let's do that. And now all we're left with is the base of the weapon. But that's all we need because if you guys notice, it slides perfectly into the magazine and I can tell you guys what was wrong with this in the safest possible manner. Hmm, I should make a note to invest in a training Glock. This way I can leave the slide on when I'm doing demonstrations like this. But for this demonstration, I don't have one so we're going like this. We make do with what we got. We like to be safe here on the Nod Squad. Today on the market, pretty much every holster made by any company has some sort of retention or some sort of mechanism that locks the firearm into the holster, preventing it from coming out if you fall or if you're in a fight and somebody tries to pull on it. Those mechanisms are there to keep you safe and to keep your firearm inside your holster unless you choose to release it. Now where the Blackhawk Serpa fails and is really dangerous is this little side mechanism right here. Now if you notice, when you slide in the weapon into the Blackhawk system, it clicks. And the only way you can remove that weapon after you clicked it in is if you depress this side button. The problem is where this side button lands, and that's right where the trigger is. So studies were finding that when removing the gun from the holster under stress, the officers would be smashing this button here, and it'll actually slip into, I don't know if you guys saw it there, slip right into the trigger. So you're gonna rip it out, you're under stress, you're smashing this button, you go to pull it out, your finger's pressing so hard on this button because you're nervous, you're in a fight, someone's throwing rounds at you, or there's, when you're pulling out your gun under stress, it's never good. So what's going on here? We are smashing that button, ripping it out, and watch where my finger goes, watch where my trigger finger goes right into the trigger. So officers were coming out of their holster, coming up, and a lot of cases shooting themselves right in the leg, right in the thigh. In the thigh you have the femoral artery. If you hit that artery, that is a bad situation. Not to mention what's in the center between your thighs. This right here is no bueno. Now that was one of the main issues that was happening with this Black Heart Post. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna have to put this slide back on the weapon to demonstrate um, what else is wrong with this holster. I'm no longer gonna press the trigger, so it shouldn't be an issue. So here's the cherry on top with this holster. If you notice, if you pull the weapon back just a little bit, you can see it moving just a little bit. If you pull it back just a little bit and then try to press the button, it's impossible for that mechanism to unlock the gun from the holster. So what was that doing? It won't go in, no matter how hard I'm pressing, if I'm pulling back on the firearm, it's not going in. When you put all these problems together with this button right here along where the trigger is, you are just setting yourself up for disaster. An officer is presented with a situation where they have to get that firearm out of the holster as fast as they can. They go down to rip that firearm out it moves that little space and it's impossible for them to get it out of the holster. So what do they do? They start fighting against their own holster to get the gun out. And what does that entail? Them pressing that button even harder, putting more pressure on their trigger finger to press down. They, they readjust, they're ripping that gun back and forth. The gun slides forward that little itty bitty space that it needs to release and that pressure that they're pushing down on the button now transferred down to the trigger, boom, their gun goes off. And that, my friends, is a proven fact. There's case studies on that. The Department of Homeland Security themselves did the case study. So I urge you guys and all my fellow officers and anyone looking to get into law enforcement, if you guys have these Black Hawk holsters, just go ahead and get rid of them. Like, like I said, they're exactly the same thing on this one. There is no hood. Um, this one does have the hood. After finding that out, it was time for me to switch back to my Safari Land holster. Luckily, I have some friends over at Gauls that carries the Safari Land holster and they sent it in for my duty belt, which is right here. 
So as you guys can see, I got the new Safari Land holster here. I highly recommend this holster. Um, I went through the academy with this holster. I trained with this holster. I carried this holster for 98% of my career. Quick shout out and a thank you to my friends over at Gauls for sending in that holster. And a shout out to them for sending me the official Nick Off Duty mug. I don't know if you guys noticed, Gauls has been very generous in hooking it up with some police equipment. Not only is Gauls hooking me up, but they're gonna be hooking you up too. I'm in talks with them, they're gonna be sending me some stuff for some giveaways. In order to win, you have to be following us on social media. I urge you guys to head over to the Instagrams. Uh, I recently changed the name to Nick Off Duty. Again, Nick underscore off underscore duty. These contests are gonna be taking place on our Instagrams. Um, that's my Instagram and Gall's Instagram. So guys, not only are they gonna be hooking us up with giveaways, but but they're also gonna be doing a 15% off for all not squad members. So if you're looking for some police gear, uh, equipment, uniforms uh, head on over to galls.com they have tons of stuff they carry name brand stuff oakley's along with their own brand galls brand uh, head over there and it's 15 percent off for all the nod squad members all you got to do is enter the code nod squad <laughs> ah, well i lost the sign off footage pretty much just wanted to make this video give you guys a heads up on what i found out about those black hawk Serpa holsters and the dangers associated with them. That pretty much wraps it up. So if you guys are new to the channel, first time visiting, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll be waiting. I mean, it's not like I gotta go to bed or anything. If you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. There's gonna be tons of new content coming to this channel right here. Also made some connections and looking forward to some upcoming collabs. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go now and upload this thing to YouTube. And you guys know the Nod Squad sign off. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you.